Alright, everybody, so hello and welcome back to Total War Rome 2. Today, we're going to be continuing our uh, Roman campaign here, where last episode we took Carthage. That's basically all we did last episode was take Carthage, but it's alright. So, uh, we took Carthage last that time, and now I think this episode uh, we're going to continue uh, our push in here, and we're going to declare war on Carthage. So, we already have the capital of Carthage. Um, so we really just need to take out the country itself. We're not at war with them yet, but I don't think we have any agreements with that. We do have trade and non-aggression with them. Um, I want to see what we have with Syracuse, because we're also going to have trade and non-aggression with Syracuse. Um, so we're going to decline, we're going to get rid of both, uh, those treaties. We will respect your decision. So that's going to be 10 turns, I believe, until we can actually attack Syracuse. It's not going to tell us I am playing on hard mode, but yeah, it's going to be 10 turns until we can declare war on Syracuse. Um, I do want to declare war on him so that we can take over Magna Gratia, but we're also going to cancel Welcome. our treaties with Carthage. Um, there we go. We're also going to cancel the treaties with Carthage, so then at the same time, so um, we're going to start the war with Syracuse early, but while we're doing with Syracuse, that'll give us, that'll run out the rest of the time with Carthage. Which means that we should be able to have a war with Carthage without anyone being mad. It is going to mean that our war with Syracuse might make some countries mad. But it will not make too many countries mad. Uh, but last time, we built up some two very strong armies here. Um, or I guess we haven't really completely finished this one. I think it, actually this one might have lost some people. In it. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the second legion. So yeah, um, but they both have these uh, veterans to make sure that people stay... Um, uh, like gain XP, and it's also we've built up our fleet massively, so now we have a pretty strong fleet too. So we are pretty set here. Um, at the current moment, we're making 12 grand a year. We already have 113 in the bank just from turns where I literally couldn't do anything, so I just wasn't spending the money. And yeah, so uh, what I think we're gonna do is I'm gonna trans I'm gonna start transporting the armies back to uh, the Italian Peninsula. So we're going to take you, and you're just going to head over that way. And we're going to take the fleet, and we're just going to go there. We're just going to guard him. We're just going to make sure that if we do get attacked, that there's at least the fleet there to protect the rest of that fleet. And I think this one army would have to be able to handle Carthago by itself. So, there's that. Let's go ahead here and end the turn. Alright, so uh, we got rid of two... Uh, agreements, right? We got rid of our trade and non-aggression with both Syracuse and Carthage. Um, oh wait, uh, that's not good. Anyway, so, I mean, you, you might expect someone to declare war, so like, Syracuse might want to declare war because they feel betrayed, or maybe Carthage will, but out of fucking nowhere, these guys, Col Colchis, or whatever, over here, have declared war, and I don't even know why, but they're, they declared war with us, they might have allies with, they might be allies or something, with this is the wrong screen they might be allies with like Carthage or something like why they declare war they have zero reason to declare war on us and yet they did so I guess they just don't like us so that's uh really bad uh because I want to go deal with that war but it's fine we'll head over there and we will crush them into the dirt because they started this fucking war, and now they're going to get what they deserve. Um, so let's see. So what are we going to do at Carthago? We're, we're going to need this legion back, because I'm, if I'm going to take them, I'm just going to... I want to send both legions over there at once. And also, because we bought both these guys at the same time, they both upgrade at the same time. So that's pretty funny. Uh, so we're building a temple here to convert the uh, culture of this place uh, over to Latin. And I think the next thing that we get here might be one of these public forums. I was thinking about a workshop. Which could be worth it. But I think this might be more worth it. Currently. We'll have other times to build them. So I think we will just build a public forum. There. And then I want to figure out how do we get up onto... Okay, we're just going to have to head over to Nepalese then. Because the only way that it suggests that we get up here is... By trespassing in Syracuse and lands. And I do not want to trespass. So we're not going to do that. Uh, so let's go and expand the city of Brundisium to its max potential. 
And then here at Brun Disney, we're going to build another public form. But with this one, we're going to build a library, which will increase research rate. Because I want to get through this research as fast as possible. I'm trying to get to this one. So that then we can get um, legionaries and stuff like that. So then we can start filling out the ranks a little bit more. But that is going to take time. Uh, and then over here, let's go ahead and upgrade Pella to its max potential as well. I love how you can see the map as it expands too. That's pretty cool. I'm sure there's also a difference on the campaign map as well. Um, and then here, I'm going to build a workshop here because uh, we already have a uh, middle player barracks there and we also have this workshop. And I want to start getting some siege artillery into our army. Um, right now, Illyria is the best place for recruitment though. They have Bliss is available to them. They have Ox Cav, which is really good. Um, Ox Cav is better than Equites. Which is the best thing that we can get from the regular barracks, um, and it's it's pretty it's a pretty decent cavalry. You know, I think most people actually use ox cav in their armies for like um, multiplayer, and we also have the infantry barracks there. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do there. We're gonna start getting closer over here because I'm pretty sure what they're gonna head for is Macedonia, right here. So we're gonna need to be careful about that spot there. But uh, until we get our armies over there, there's nothing that we can do to protect it. So. I am going to leave the Legion 1 here. I am leaving um, Legion Julius in Carthago to make sure this place converts successfully without having a big rebellion. And we might be able to bring that army over if um, if, it, if time allows it and stuff like that. But we are going to try to take it out with just our dictator right here. And actually, it makes more sense just to go around this way, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we're back. We'll just do the first one. I don't think it makes much of a difference really which one you choose there. Um, Alright, so Carthago has now finally been built up. It has a city built and also has the uh, Field of Mars, which we're going to convert into a middle player barracks. We're also going to upgrade the uh, city itself as well. See how it better defenses. Alright, so we're going to bring our army here over to Epelina, because I actually. Oh, that's not to be Illyria. I do want to go ahead here and replace these equites with the auxiliary cab before we invade Kalis or Kilches or Kilches, whatever. I do want to upgrade them uh, before we go there. Um, so they have not made any progress towards attacking us for whatever reason, which is good for us. So we're not going to really worry about that too much. Um, over here, we're still looking just fine. And yeah, let's go ahead here and end the turn. Alright, so treat gain, task hold. Uh, let's see what we got built. Tons of stuff. Perfect. All right. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this army over here because again we want to upgrade these equites to auxiliary cav. And what can we get from this? We can get triarii. I mean, why would we not do that? Yeah, let's head over to Mundizium and start recruiting in. Some Triari into the force here, yeah, because that's going to be really good. I still want to see if these are any good. Now, we do want a couple fast ships, but I'm also going to delete a big part of this force for and get some of these Triari because that should be pretty good for the fleet there. And then we're also going to get rid of these ships here. And that was a mistake, but we are going to replace them with these guys here because it is a bigger ship. So we have you moving over here. Let's see what's going on over this way. Upgrade a shrine of Jupiter, and then here I'm gonna build the amphitheater. I think oh, that's actually gonna require food, and we're not making food at this place. We're gonna change that to a fishing port, and then we're also gonna take. We're also just gonna build the amphitheater. So yeah, we're gonna have the, a fishing port there to produce food for us because we are gonna need food in that settlement. Um, let's see what's going on here at Pella. We've built this place, uh, but there's something else that we can do over here, so that's that. We can upgrade this thing here, which will hopefully start solving the food problem that we're having in that province. Over here has enough food. Uh, I don't think there's any other upgrades around the place, so let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay, return permission. Those are the politicians. Let's see what we have here. Shipwright and nothing else. Good. Alright, so we're still at 12k. Okay, perfect. I was thinking we were a lot lower, but we're not. We need four. Now we'll take two or one of you. Then we're gonna take two of these onagers, uh, and so then we can start shooting ships with onagers at range. That should be pretty good there. 
Um, I also just realized that we're getting, we're getting kind of si sidetracked here by trying to help police, which, uh, just to tell y'all, the first military moment I've seen out of them this entire time, they've sent this army here. Uh, and you can tell by strength of the army based on how full its banner is, I think. And so, like, our armies are pretty strong. It doesn't fall all the way up, so I think that might be the max. But, I mean, these are pretty weak armies over here. They're probably just spam units. Either that or they're missing troops and they're just lying about the unit count inside the army. But, either way, I think I'm going to leave this army here. Because I did remember that we do want to take over these areas. And that is the entire point of the video. So, I... We're still going to be declaring war on them. I forget when we declared war. I've not been keeping track of turn count. But I think we can declare war on them soon. Um, Greetings. It's not going to be not now, obviously. But it will be very soon. We'll actually be able to declare war on them and not need to worry about the consequences. Here, we need to upgrade something. Where did we get that from? Oh, it's probably here. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, but we're only three turns away from reading this place, so we are just going to continue on that one and just have a public forum over here. Uh, and yeah. Alright, so we'll do Hunted. Sun has come of age, so obviously all that stuff is going to be thing there. Oh, actually, I want to see one of these. Oh, we have a troop morale penalty. That sucks. Alright, well... Uh, you know what? We'll do that when we come back. Uh, I just want to send this army over here. It's taking way too long for us to just attack these. I think I'm going to cut this next couple parts out here. Uh, I'll cut the next several turns out of the recording just to not bore anyone from having to watch me slowly crawl our way over there. We will recruit troops here. Once these troops are recruited, I'm going to declare war on Syracuse. So I might actually still have content to record, so I'll see y'all then. Alright, so... Child born there. We uh we had to pay some pirates last turn. I decided to skip last turn because I had a bunch of stuff I had to do in order to get ready for the war on Syracuse. But we're finally ready to do it. Uh, so what we really need to do here is we just need to, like how are we gonna get up onto the island of Syracuse, right? Like it's just not like giving us the option to really. There we go. I am trespassing. What are you gonna do about it, nerd? All right. Carthago should be fine from any attacks, and we are going to go ahead here and we're going to declare war on Syracuse. Let's go ahead and see what this does to our stuff. You it has not been attention. 10 turns, but it Speak. could have been. Alright, so it was not 10 turns, but it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we might, what we might have here at Syracuse. Uh, a, a, it would be a valiant defeat if we were to attack now, which is why we're not going to attack now. And we're just going to maintain a blockade. We're going to attack it. Next turn with uh, Julius here. Oh, it looks like Syracuse took Thapis. So now they have a launching point to get into our territory. That's kind of sad. Um, let's go ahead and see. Can we make it here? We cannot make it here this turn. I'm trying to get into a battle because we have not done a battle this turn. It's just been boring campaign map stuff. And we're almost out of time for today's video. Which I do not want to run out of time for this video before getting a battle in. So I'll see you all next turn. Alright, so research has been completed there. Another person gained my or minority. Let's go and see what you want. He's been dabbling in surgery. His skeleton knife leaves a little or leaves a little to be desired and a and the pile of bodies is becoming what? Uh Alright, uh, um So, like, this guy's been killing people, probably? Uh, we should probably fight. We're gonna try hiding Kim. I don't know if that's gonna do it. But I need it to do. But we'll just pray that it does. Um, let's enjoy all the roads. There we go. Alright, now we can finally go ahead here and we can. Okay. Really, man? I will head for Lily Biome. We can definitely take Syracuse since they're missing their army now, so here we go. Let me just auto that battle. I know I was just complaining about how we haven't gotten a battle this turn, but I paused my uh, my timer so that now we need to get a battle in before I uh, finish up the video. So, what are we going to want here? We don't. This is going to be a very farm-heavy settlement. 
none of these give money from farming, so we're just gonna do a regular harbor. Uh, we're not, we don't need a Mickler, but uh, we're not actually gonna need any barracks here or any of these. So, but we can also build those now, and I'm actually gonna continue down this route. I'm gonna continue down this top route up here, um, for the time being. So, let's see, what do we want you to be? Um, I want you to be a warrior. Instead of the normal strategist, or strategist. Alright, so that's where other armies are. But the garrison here at, um, Carthago is pretty impeccable. Um, it has a Minotaur barracks, it has a city... Like, we should be able to defend against any attacks. So we'll take out Lily Biome, we'll head right back to Carthago to try to make sure they don't take that from us. Meanwhile, over here, we can finally attack these guys who attacked us a while back. And it's taken us forever to get over here. But we can finally just go ahead here and attack them. And, of course, this battle is looking like it's going to be a complete wipe. Um, or, we might... Do we want to go ahead and get a tortoise? Which is, uh, like, something that bashes down the walls. It can be pretty fun to use it. But I think a siege shot might make more sense. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the turn. So, you know, Syracuse always, obviously wants peace. Oh, our dictator just died. That's, that's not good. That means that we're gonna have a new political leader. And he is of age. So, we, he can actually be recruited as the dictator. If I could find him. What? Excuse. This was the dictator. So why is my dictator not an option? Because I have a dictator. Hmm. So let's see what we want here. I think we'll choose you to be the leader. Um. Okay. So we do have a new leader. Um. It's like yeah, our dictator did die. Who is the new leader? He is. Why not this man? He's the heir to the throne. How come he's not the new dictator of our country? I'm very confused. He is of age. I mean, he's 22. Which is old enough to run the country. So I'm not sure why he's not the dictator here. Let's go ahead and siege out uh, Kulis here. Also, this is not Kulis. This is uh, Nikomita. I think that's how you say it. Why is it so fucking rocky? Jesus. Um, yeah, but, yes, this is not Kulis, that's the country that owns it. Uh, but yeah. Let's just go over here, because it's so much flatter over here. Alright, this side, like, genuinely makes more sense to go for. Oh, uh, yeah, there's really no problems with this side. I mean, there aren't any hills and stuff to protect us. Which, I guess, could be the only problems. But the Prinkapes, I mean, the Prinkapes are always the ones to go up the walls first. It doesn't matter who or what siege battle it is, the Prinkapes are always the ones who go up first. And then we're just gonna set you two up there. And, I mean, actually, I think everyone can fit on that wall right there. Obviously, we might need to put a couple over here. I'm trying to just not avoid this spot because there is that little house and that could mess everything up, but we should have Pretty direct line of sight to get straight into there. Have our Triarii waiting, have the Hestadi waiting, have the uh, Velites waiting, and there's nothing here that I need Velites for. So we're going to use them as a meat shield for the units. Keep the Equites in the back, keep the General in the back. Get this party started, baby. Let's go ahead here and see what the closest to the wall that we can get is. It's right there. There. Perfect. Alright. So then they're going to make their ways up to the walls. I'm going to have these Velites run up here. And start hopefully dealing some damage. There we go. So we are getting ripped into by a whole lot of uh, enemy units. But it'll be fine. We'll just... Yeah, we're getting absolutely shredded right now. Oh, fuck. They have their cavalry out here. What the fuck? Ready. Ready and waiting. Glory to this. 
I don't even need my other calf units because javelins are insanely good at killing. Oh, they're trying to burn the siege towers down. Unfortunately for the enemy, that's not gonna work. There we go. That's a dope. That's a dope screenshot right there, guys. There we go. Well, we have just. I mean, we're taking heavy casualties here, but we have just killed an entire one of their units, so... Hooray! Alright, so y'all have made it to the walls there. You guys are still marching up. The way the AI is marching up here is kind of concerning. Um, here they go onto the walls. There we go. Um, just, you know, trying to use the, uh... Whoops, that's, yeah, that's not at all what I wanted, but there we go. This this isn't a bad POV. It's pretty decent, actually. Let's go over here to see how the other sides are going. They have their little militia units trying to stop us, but they're not going to be able to. Because they're just good old militia units that are going to get absolutely destroyed by us. I'm going to run the Velites back because they are getting absolutely hammered right now. Oh, they did get a couple of kills, although we did take heavy damage as well. As well, so... Not really sure if that was worth it or not, but it is what it is. We'll move this Triari up here and we'll get the Hestadi ready. Uh, I don't think... Hestadi do have more melee attacks, surprisingly, than a uh, Triari unit, which is also kind of sad. But it does make sense, actually, because it is a Triari, which is a spear unit, so obviously it's going to have less melee attack. Because spear units in Total War games have less melee attack than sword units. Alright, so we are, you know, we're cooking up here. We are just taking over pretty thoroughly. Doing a pretty good job. I'm going to try to take this tower so it doesn't rip into us here. And we're just getting everyone set up here so then they, you know, aren't blocking the way. It is kind of glitchy for whatever reason. I don't remember the AI being this bad, but the AI has been especially bad in these videos for whatever reason. They have outside units. Why are there outside units? That's weird. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and kill them with the Cav units. We're going to have the Triarii go ahead and, you know, fuck these kids up. The Echo Days will deal with the archers and stuff. Let's go ahead here and... Alright, so... We're gonna go ahead and charge them there, and we're ramming into all of them over there. Get our units getting down from this tower. That's right, get down from there, boys. We do not want y'all being stuck up there. We want you guys getting down and fighting in the, uh... Over here. Uh, looks like they're actually heading for us. So let's go ahead and, you know, charge them there. The tree I have this this covered. I have zero doubt that they have that area covered right there. These Edwards have done a pretty good job, you know. They just killed two whole units. Quite fantastical. I'm going to charge those spear units right there. We're still getting engaged by other enemy units because they're guarding that place with their freaking lives. Alright, let's go ahead and get down into the fray here, go and see what's going on with the, the boys. Right. Y'all have had like three charge animations, but you're finally committing. Over here, they've already committed, even though the line is very thin just because of how the charge actually ended up working out. How are you doing out here? Triarii are doing fantastic over here. They should have very little problem with these units, even though they are axe units. I feel like they should have very little... Well, actually, no, they are getting... They are getting... Hammered, surprisingly. By these axe units. And I guess it might be because they are spear units, and so... They're just taking more damage. Because those units are more well equipped. For close melee combat, when, like, ideally you want to use spears against... Um... I don't know who they are. Um, 
against other units, but I'll charge them. That's their general's unit, too. But we can go in and mess them up. Get our general's unit over there as well. So then we can get him some extra points because he is the new general. So you want to, you know, give him. I that's not suspicious at all. That I just see a entire cav unit moving over here. It's definitely. Well, I'm gonna assume is their general's unit. They're like right here. Oh, well, I mean they're dead now. I'm not sure where their flag is. There's their unit flag to let us know. That it's a unit. I'm just, I'm not sure what I'm doing over here. They do have to turn around to charge this unit, but this unit should be pretty dead. French, there you go, they're pretty screwed there. We have split off, so now these Triaria units have less to deal with. Which is perfecto. I'm actually going to give a real charge to the General's unit. Even though you do not want to do this with your General's unit. Um, I do feel pretty confident here that the General's unit should have everything down. The General's unit should be fine when charging in here, especially if it's just for a second. Yeah, I'm the one who did that dumb thing. Uh, well, I guess that was kind of being mean, but it's fine. Um, so that Jones unit is about a route for us. Over here, I'm pretty sure they already have. We're going to start making our way towards the uh, town center there to take it. Actually, this is the ultimate objective, but we'll make our way over that way. Uh, we're going to continue to the gatehouse so then we can take this. Which we are already doing right now. We have just wiped everyone that's on the outside of the gates. They still have several units though. Those are just the ballistas. Um, as if anything for that checkpoint, we're just going to head all the way over here. And I will send in the cavalry once we have the uh, gatehouse under our control. We have captured the gates! Yes, sir. Right, and then get every cab unit also running in here. Okay. There goes that spear unit. I am going to take one of these units here and just use them to run those units down. But otherwise I'm going to use the drones unit in order to capture the rest of this place. Go ahead here and start, you know, speeding up the battle. Our units has used all its ammunition. They're doing a good job of running shit down. Who's guarding the uh, central capture point? Oh, shit. That was very unfortunate. I just charged my general's unit right into a hippie's lancer's unit. That is a very deadly unit. And could easily kill my general's unit, considering it's my general's unit. Like, this unit could be dead right now like just very very dead uh but it's not looking very likely uh because i think we did manage to get away thank thankfully and that there is a way to get a xp for him if we want to do that of course that is of course that is um of course if we are a psychopath which i don't think i am really but maybe i am charge this thing with everything that we got we do not want him to get killed but, and we are losing troops. The enemy general oh, that's the enemy general. Okay, I, I was scared that was our general. But there we go. We won the battle. <laughs> I am playing, you know, kind of risky for generals, you know. I'm trying to get him some levels. Uh, because he is the new guy. But of course, considering he is the new guy, we should probably be a little bit more careful with him. <laughs> um, just to make sure he's you know, not dead in the first year of having him. But there we go. Nikomita has just been taken. And so, hopefully this will sue for peace now because they declared war on us out of nowhere. And we just straight up took them down in one fight. So, you know what? I feel like they should probably be a little more nice to us. Let's see how we're doing over here. We do have enough time to attack Lee Bayou. Um, they have these that's coming to attack us here at Magna Gratia. I'm not going to build anything just because they are going to attack us. And that's going to be completely up to this. No, we're going to head back to Syracuse, and we're going to have that army wait there. We're going to build the farms up here. And yeah, so that woman at this province can now become something other than a farming summit if we want it to. And of course, they probably could go and attack that place. And I'm not entirely sure if this place is fit to take this down, but we'll have to see. 
they are raiding us, but they're not actually attacking us yet, so... I'll have to see what goes down there. I am gonna take the fleet. Um, that actually can't go any... Oh, because it has the army attached to it for whatever reason. There we go. And we're just gonna run this way. And, because I might be able to kill that, you know, which is, this is not a fleet, I don't think. Uh, I think that is a fleet. But it's their Baileys, and we have a bigger fleet, so if we do end up fighting them, we'll be able to kill them pretty easily. I built a shrine here, even though Latin culture is at 100%, because the Pantheon gives you uh, two influence for your party uh, per turn, and also gives you a bunch of wealth and tax rate, which is really what I want, so... That's why I went ahead and built that over there. Um, and yeah, I think that is going to be just about it for today's video though. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Check in next Wednesday for the next one of these. But do check in uh, tomorrow and for the rest of the weekend because I will have content coming out on Man of War. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.